Stamp duty land tax is a tax payable by buyers for the purchase of property. The levy has existed in England in one form or another since 1694 and consisted of a single 1% rate above the threshold from 1984 to 1997. In subsequent years, however, a number of thresholds and complications have been added, meaning that rates between 2 and 12% exist, depending on thresholds, property types, and whether or not you are a first-time buyer. So stamp duty is one of the most pernicious taxes that we have in the UK at the moment and for many years beforehand. So some Alan Smith Institute research from a few years back showed that it's four times more damaging to economic efficiency compared to income tax and eight times more damaging than, than VAT. So that's sort of a very immediate cost to the wider economy. But more broadly than that, it's quite pernicious to uh, a lot of families, so kids and grandkids from People who are wanting to downsize, who might have retired, it sort of gums up the housing market because it makes it even more expensive to move to a smaller property for those who frankly don't need as large a house as they did when they were raising kids. So those sort of twin effects are very obvious uh, consequences of stamp duty and that obviously hasn't changed in, in recent years in spite of some of the attempts by the government uh, over the last few years, especially over COVID, to actually alter the system slightly. So one other effect that we see from stamp duty is that it really inhibits the agglomeration effects of cities and larger conurbations. So what I mean by that is a worker, for example, might be living in a more rural area and their ability to move into a larger conurbation, be it London or Leeds or Manchester, is inhibited precisely because their ability to move is slower. And therefore, the knowledge transfer and other good effects which happen from those agglomeration effects are inhibited by the inability of a worker or a potential worker to move to that kind of location. The government should aim to abolish stamp duty entirely when possible, but in the meantime it should either raise the minimum threshold to £1 million or extend the first time buyer's threshold of £300,000 to all, eliminating the 2% rate while halving the remaining rates. To find out more, click the link to read our full report.